by Dallas, make it hurt. Hello guys, uh, here we are doing paper 2021, October, November, and paper 3, it's winter paper, and in this session, we're going to do data analysis, that's Excel part, and uh, about the Everest document, create a new word process document by ourselves, it's not given in the folder, already made. So we have to just create by ourselves by adding name, set a number, add candidate number in the top, in the uh, the header. And you have to save the document using this name. And you have to uh, continue uh, with the set a number and candidate number. So an example is given over here. <coughs> now let's go to data analysis. Uh, you work for a company planning to recycle plastic waste washed up on the beaches of many islands in the Maldives. You will create a spreadsheet to calculate the cost of a return journey from the recycling center to an island to collect this plastic waste. Okay. <coughs> All currency values must be in US dollars and with two decimal places. So here we'll create a spreadsheet to calculate the cost of return journey from the recycling center to an island to collect this plastic waste. Right? Okay. Uh, open and examine the fall islands. In a spreadsheet package, the file will be used to provide data for uh, your spreadsheets and the data must not be copied or the file changed. Okay, and here another file as well we have to open. Fine, so let's open these two files. Go to the folder. First one is islands. Where is this islands? Here is the word. Select, right click, open with Excel. This is the data in the file of islands. There are only four details. Fine. Now let's open another one. What's that? Another one? Cause. So here is the cause. Open with Excel. So this is another file having about the cause. Okay. Fine. Now, paste in the footer right aligned the text cause prepared by followed by uh, a space your name city number and candidate number then a space followed by odd and you have to add today's automated date there okay and save this as a spreadsheet with a file name cause uh and add city number candidate number as well okay the cost uh, file only the what here we have to insert the header view page layout and that to be in the footer in the footer where is it in the footer right aligned in the footer uh, right aligned here okay and what's the text cost prepaid by <coughs> Cause prepared by and a name, right? 
center number then cadet number okay and you have to give a space odd okay odd and just click open this header footer and current date we're gonna add okay click outside point we're gonna save this we're gonna save this with the name in the same folder serve it and uh, we have to change the name to a uh, discord set a number a discord candidate number and save it as excel workbook this is done let me get back to the double view save the work yeah this is what we have what is done number two is it two new rows above row one okay it costs <coughs> here just select the first row home insert rows just click on that two rows will be added up there okay now merge cells a1 to c1 and enter the text cost of plastic removal for one island a1 to c1 till here we're going to merge it okay and we're going to type there cost where is that cost of cost of plastic rubber wall for what I love okay next for by the merged cell ever to see what to contain a white 26 font point text or a blue background 26 it should be home uh go to 26 and blue background they want like this blue light blue see blue else uh white it is it should be white the foreground should be sorry it's a white okay we can just widen the columns to check the contents definitely this one okay <coughs> save uh white 26 point text or the dark blue okay it should be dark blue we should light blue just let me make it dark blue oh here select this home that should be dark blue okay save which number two for the spreadsheet to look like this oh it's got in the two lines it's text is been wrapped uh, after plastic okay now let's do that just select uh, home here wrap text fine after clicking we are just a uh, shorten the Uh, columns like this okay you can see there removal of word removal of A4 
after here just click there then press enter it has to go for this wrapping should be done over here here okay <coughs> like this save that rest of the data has to be right aligned here uh, all the stuff is there let's just let's see here this one the data you see there from way to where this batch it is okay add hope just select it back just widen this to go to the next okay done now this has to be uh, right aligned <coughs> as per the uh, picture given to us look at this and what towards left are these numbers or towards uh, right and this rest takes us also towards the left so here this is fine this is fine okay safe now it's a B12 enter a function to look up the name of the island using the code entered in cell B11. So name of the island they want to display over here in B12. Here, see island name. But where about the island names and all? You see here, see island name. It has to come from the other other file. Right, and the code is over here. Code over here. <coughs> what you enter, island code, what you enter, its name should be displayed, which is entered in B level. Accordingly, its island's name should be displayed. That's the uh, the question. So here. Here we are searching for the value, right? So that we are going to use V lookup equal to V lookup open bracket. Based on this is the criteria for us. Lookup value is B11, right? And it has to be, uh, what's that? It's not going to be a referential like at all. Uh, uh, replication so what we can do we can even use the dollars to make it an absolute reference because only one value there oh, b11 okay comma that what is the uh, where is the table array table array is the other table come over here find that we have to select from here two onwards okay two onwards and where are the names in the second column and we have to select all okay till here now come over here comma in which column it is existing our values are existing in the second column of this range so two will type in there the comma zero or false for exact match enter and one for bohura something okay this is done you can see over here 
text. It shall be 13 and are function to look up the distance of the island from the recycling plant. Where is the distance information? See here. This is the distance information. Okay, again, we have to come over here uh, using VLOOKUP. <coughs> It'd be 13 here equal to we look up open bracket now what is the uh, the lookup value same b 11 and we have to use the uh, absolute uh -oh. i'll do it again equal to we look up open bracket and this one comma here I could add the dollar. Here I get dollar. Now table area I have to go to another table. Here. Distance is in the fourth column. Right? Let me select all from second onwards all. Because code is in the first column, add the distance in the last column. Look at here, come over here. Comma. Where we are finding in fourth column, we are finding the value, the one we are looking for, and zero for exact match press enter yeah m1 where is m1 just let's have a look where is m1 here m1 pora something at 75 uh eight kilometers what is that distance okay it shall be 14 enter function formula to calculate the total distance traveled to the island and back fine uh to the island and back it be 14 open cost uh, file this is the b14 okay return distance add here two variables return right so uh b13 is the distance from recycling to uh plant right then if you make it uh, into two it will become a round trip right so that's what we're going to do two to it to uh, be uh, 13 okay be 13 down trip at us return journey time they want to do let's see uh, it the uh, this all done it's a be 15 enter formula to calculate the number of hours the return journey will take this is calculated as return journey return distance by operating speed into the contents of cell p6 round this time up to the nearest whole r okay so we're going to use round up function so what all we have to return distance by operating speed into the contents of uh, cell B6. Now let's do that. It's B15. This one. Here we are going to round it off. So equal to round up open bracket. Now, what is the calculation there? Return distance. Where is the return distance? Where is the return distance here? Is B14. Okay. B14 is divided by. Now, there is a multiplication, right? Here. See. Operating speed. Where is operating speed? Can we see this? Look at this here. Operating speed into into uh, what's next? The contents of cell B6. The contents of cell B6. Close the bracket. Now, comma, because we have to round it off, right? To one hour zero no decimal places at all then close round up closer round up press enter it's giving nine hours 
9 hours. Okay. 7 is done. In cell B16, enter a formula to calculate the fuel used for the journey. This is calculated as Rito journey time into fuel consumption. So that's in cell B16. So it's a multiplication between Rito journey time, fuel used for journey. Okay, so equal to Rito journey time. Into, into, what's the other one here? What is given here? Fuel consumption. Where is the fuel consumption? Uh, here, see, fuel consumption. Eta. Okay. Now, what else we have to do? We should be die. We're going to do in cell B17. Enter formula to calculate the fuel cost for the journey. Fuel cost is calculated how? Here you see uh, in the Excel here is equal to fuel cost. Here fuel used for the journey this many uh, liters, right? Into and what is the price for one? So fuel consumption uh, liters per hour per hour it is fuel cost is this much okay number of kilometers into the cost of the fuel okay next it shall be 18 at a formula so that if the return journey time is yeah, now we are going to use the if condition where we have two, three uh, conditions to be placed using two, three ifs. Even we can end up uh, using two as well. Yes. So here it shows like uh, if the return journey is less than 10 hours, it displays the value 4. Okay. If the return journey is greater than or equal to 10 hours less than 10 4 or equal to or more than 10 and less than or equal to 15 hours so it's a range 10 to 15 hours range it displays the value 6 greater than 15 hours means more than 15 hours it displays the value 9 okay so we can use two ifs in this it shall be 18 b18 here equal to if open bracket what is the first condition if b this one return journey time is less than 10 hours then what should be the speed if this is true 4 should be the speed else again we have to go for another if Okay, if B15, B15 is uh, more than or equal to 10, and we are going to use and, then again B is less than 15 hours. Less than or equal to 15 hours. Oh, okay. Less than or equal to 15 hours. Then, what should be the value? Uh, 6. Else, it should display 9. Okay, 1 closing, 2 closings. See, it's a range, right? Both are equal to 10 or less than or equal to 15. It's a range. Means 10 to 15 inclusive. Enter. Or error. Okay. 
where is that which 18 right it's called number of crew required fuel cost per journey uh, I'm supposed to enter here what we have to calculate that if the uh, return journey time so in 18 what is it number of two required okay so I'm doing it again if open bracket B uh, B 15 is less than or equal to display four crew members else else uh, if uh, here it is the range you see there here uh, from 10 hours to 15 hours 10 hours to 15 hours in the sense so 10 and 15 is equal to so if the journey time is in this they have to oh, they want six crew members so maximum is 15 less than or equal to 15 if it's less than 10 it will uh, take this value okay that means next condition is if it's equal to 10 or more than 10 to maximum 15 hours so we will place the condition like if b15 is less than or equal to less than or equal to 15 then display 6 else display 9 close add close here is 16 hours so it's displaying 9 and if it's a 9 it has to display 4 like this and if it is 12 between range display 6 CR so actually it is the value is 9 right okay okay save Ten is done. How many more questions are there? The rest of the rest of the uh, part will do in the second part. Okay. Thank you.